is Glitter. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is currently 4 a.m. and I just got in from the bar. So I'm a little schmished. Um, and I really just wanted to pop my shit tonight. Like, <laughs> I'm not even going to hold you. So, yeah. Today, you know, just scrolling on my timeline and stuff. I say some things that I want to discuss. So, let's get into it. First order of business. I want to address these boots. <laughs> now, we know, all know that, you know, us ladies, we love a trendy boot. And one of the most recent trends has been um, the boot pants, pant boots. So, as I was saying, boot pants, legging pants, boot pant, pant boot, whatever it's called. That's the trend that the girls have been rocking. So, boom. We all love us some Jada Waiter. That's my girl. You know, she be killing the fashion game. Like, she do the ones and twos. But, sis. <laughs> me and my fellows. <laughs> me and my friend Stitch is here to tell you. It's like, nah. This is not even my opinion. I, let's start with the people's opinion. So the people's court said that the boots were not giving. The boots weren't booting. They were not giving. They was not liking the trend. Um, My girl Jada said the boots were booting. And she was very satisfied with her look. Um, I'm going to upload the look so you guys can take a peek. And then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about it. So, me personally, I love, 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 love the jacket and the bob. The bob was bobbing. I mean, the girl, it was giving Dora, okay? The jacket, cunt, cut down. Little crop with a little fur, little corduroy look or whatever material that was. Loving the jacket. I have a thing with the boot pant pant boot thing though like I don't know it gives me like elf with the stockings with the pointy shoes or something <laughs> like I don't it gives me like I don't know you know how they say your feet look like fingers like I don't think I would have wore those pants now, I'm going to just be honest, though. I feel like certain outfits, you know, go for certain people. Jada, in general, she's very daring when it comes to her looks. So, for her, I don't really feel like it was too bad. Now, when she started to get into the boot and she started to put the boot in the air and do all that, that's when I really started to see the curve of the boot and how the boot was given. That's what made me not like the boot. But those pictures, I'm not going to lie. My girl killed it. Now, I am going to post a picture that I did not like. Like, I did not like. I'm sorry, Jada. I did not like. <laughs> and I feel like she's okay with people sharing their opinions. It's no shade. I, I love me some Jada. But this hair, it just wasn't given for me. Alright, so boom, not too much on Jada. I posted a picture, whatever. Y'all seen it on to the next subject. So boom. Next, I want to get on the topic of my girl Lori Harvey. Because she never sees to amaze us. The girl pops up in the blogs. I want to say, I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt every other year with a new man and it's always like a a-list man like somebody that everybody wants to know wants to know how to get bitch you like that 
I'm going to be the one to say it. Like, you like that. They can hate on you. They can call you a hoe. Bitch, you like that. Like, no shade. It's girls out here with a lineup full of junkies. No goods. If you ask me, her lineup was pretty sweet. The way she moves on is immaculate. It's not given. <laughs> You can't really tell, like, if she's going through it. Like, you know, now I'm not going to sit here and say, like, it's healthy or, you know, she's a role model or nothing like that. But what y'all got to understand is everybody doesn't live for that. Some people just live to live. You get what I'm saying? So they're going to do what makes them happy. My girl Lori is an example of that. She's doing what the fuck needs to be done. Playing these niggas how they play us. You put the city girls up a thousand points, boo. I'm team you. Straight up. Now, I'm not going to sit here and act like you ain't ruined some of, you know, our fantasies and stuff like that. Because no shade. Because you have kind of, you know, circled around. I don't really want to go after you. But I love you, though. <laughs> it just is what it is. I'm just here to keep it real. For the girls in the back who be crying over these niggas, losing weight over these niggas. Get you a Lori Harvey prayer. <laughs> Get it together and manifest it, boo. Because I like what she's doing. I represent. <laughs> Straight up. Congrats to you, sis. Now, on to the next subject. Which one, I'm going to just be honest, I can give two f***s about. I'm so tired of hearing about Megan and Tory Lanez. It's honestly draining to my soul. I'm going to just be real with you. And I try not to share my opinions because when it's stuff to deal with women and like domestic violence and things like that, you know, it's a touchy subject. You don't want to seem like you with or you don't want to seem like you against because now as a woman, I wholeheartedly support Megan Thee Stallion. And I honestly feel like when it comes to celebrities and business that you guys don't have no fucks about like no idea about what really happened i really don't understand why people can't tend to keep their opinions to themselves like okay if you want to choose sides choose sides but y'all be acting like y'all was there y'all be acting like y'all investigators y'all be acting like y'all detectives like y'all got inside scoops like it's honestly just weird to me because then you got to realize when it turns around and you get the verdict and the real information, then you kind of look slow. Now you got all these people um, submitting apologies and issuing apologies. Like, I don't think my girl wants your apologies because at the end of the day, do y'all know the amount of stress y'all have put on this lady? Like y'all are weird. And then I honestly don't understand, like, why y'all act like y'all so confused. Like, love triangles and backstabbing and bitches fucking their best friend niggas and all that stuff. Like, people do this in real life. These are real people. Like, yes, they are celebrities. Yes, we want to hold them to these standards and all that. But, you know, they get down just like regular people get down, boo. Now, this Kelsey bitch, to me, she seems like a fraud. I don't know if she did anything or not. But either way, she just strikes me as a fake ass bitch and i haven't even read into this this is just my insight on as the the little bit that i've seen because i'm so sick of hearing about it i i have no interest to even try to figure out what's going on i'm just i'm just gonna be honest with you um please just leave it alone like it's not even our business you guys like it's and then boom why y'all keep trying to get into my girl Megan lineup? Like, what, what's up with y'all keep trying to get into everybody's business and how many people they done talked in the industry and all this? Like, do y'all not realize that the industry is their circle just like y'all got y'all circle and y'all city and y'all community and y'all fucked 30, 40 niggas that hang with the same gang, call each other cousins, bros, and be in the same videos together, but y'all worried about them. Like, I don't understand. Worry about y'all. Worry about them cooches. Worry about keeping them, keeping them cooches up. Like, I don't understand. What's wrong? Let my girl Megan live at the end of the day. But I ain't going to hold you. Quick game of smash your pass. I would smash Jada. 
I would definitely fucking pass on Lori and I'm going to pass on Megan too because me personally, I don't like y'all line up. I don't want to go behind that. But everybody else need to mind their business. <laughs> All right, boom. I ain't going to lie because I'm a little toxic. I might fuck Megan because I like when she do that little ah. Then I want to know what that's about. Ah. <laughs> I ain't even going to hold you. But Tori passed. Like, I don't even know why he's in a situation like this like bro he looks there okay we not gonna go there because i don't want y'all bashing me in the comments and all that i'm just a youtuber popping my shit at 4 a.m so don't hold me to nothing that i'm saying it's the hennessy bro it's the hennessy <laughs> okay but yeah nevertheless like that's my tea for the night I just kind of wanted to go over those things because I really don't share my opinions on things much, especially not via social media because Instagram is super sensitive. So this is where y'all will find out most information of, you know, how I feel about things in the industry wise. All right. Well, Gossip with Glitter is over. I am tired. I am fried. I know y'all see these beautiful tresses. Come shop with me. Hair provided by me. Follow me on Instagram at underscore underscore glitter 202. I love you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for checking in. I got a video that's going to drop on Sunday. You guys are going to be so excited to see me and my friends are going to a cosplay party. So stay tuned to see what my costume is going to be um, behind the scene footage and stuff like that. I also start filming for a new movie at the end of the month. So I will start posting um, footage from my uh filming uh days and stuff like that because i have footage from a movie that i just did that i haven't even posted nevertheless i love you guys thanks for the support and catch me later